Hey guys, I know it's been a little while since I've done a video, but here I am today. Um, as you can see, I have AMT's new curbside style kit, 64 Chevelle Malibu SS. This is an amazing kit. The box art is, is fun. You know, honestly, you know, it shows this version of the car with the Chevy wire wheel covers, uh, all the options that are in there. Of course, on the other side, same thing. Back of the box, standard ground tool. Hey, this is what's in the box. I did a good job on this one. You can actually see. Um, I actually have two of these kits. As you can hear, that's got some parts running around it. It's for the uh, cobalt green one over here. I'm not going to go into that one just yet. I'm doing some Pegasus wheels on it. Got that one first. I had to build it, so I bought a second one so I could do this video. So, guys, let's just jump into this. As you can see, at the box right there. Um, they did some changes that were amazing, I think. They did away with the one-piece window. They made two pieces of window. They put tabs on it and pins on the underside so you can get it in the right spot. Less bulk inside. You got the red clear piece for the tail light. Plenty of headlight and turn signal options on here. They added an extra couple extra in there. I'm assuming they're going to do something special later on. They sometimes do. Um, the Nova Wagon. Um, yeah. The body. As you can see, the hood is separate from the body. Sadly, there is no engine in the kit, which is okay. Because some of us have, you know, motors from old El Caminos or even the wagon. Okay. But they were good enough and kind enough to, you know, make give us the detail under the hood. Separate grill and separate bumper ability on this. They moved the uh, screw points on the old Craftsman series to just tabs in the corners so that they're not obtrusive and in the way. Same thing in the back. Um, pins for literally everything to set in place. So, the detail on the body is... I like it. I'm loving it. Um, came, comes with white wall tires, one metal rod, well, because there's a different reason for that. <clears throat> I haven't opened this tree yet on this bag, but we're going to go do that right here, right now. Let me get my knife out. And we're going to go through this really quick. So my other kit actually came with two steering wheels for some strange reason, so I have an extra steering wheel. This one here does not appear to have it. I haven't looked through it fully yet, but we're going to get there. Um, the chassis. So the chassis is a basic molded-in exhaust. I know a lot of you guys aren't going to like that, but you know what? How many people are actually going to look at that sitting on the shelf? Not a lot. Um, they did leave it open here, so you can put your when you put your own motor in, it's available to do that. Um... You can customize the ride height by drilling different holes, not putting the blocks in that come with the car. All right. Um, interior, front seats are separate. Some pretty good detail in there. Brakes, it's an automatic car, of course. Um, seat detail is really good. You can see that there. Um, of course, they took away the ability to mount it to the body and added it to the chassis with pins. And you can see those in there. Which is kind of a cool idea. I like that. The dashboard, and they added a firewall, so when you put your motor in there, there's a firewall. That was really smart and kind of them on that on that front. I like that. Um, the other tree has your seats. Mine's kind of wonky on there. The separate hood. They added an engine plate, just in case you don't want to put a motor in it. You'll never see it on my kids, sorry. Um... They added blocks for that front of that ch uh, chassis with a big hole. What they're doing is you're going to pin the front wheel so there's no metal rod going through whatever motor you decide. I think it's a cool idea. And they also added a firewall, or not firewall, but the radiator core support. It mounts to the inside of the body, so it's actually kind of neat. And of course, the separate hood. Um, wheels. It's a two-piece wheel, of course. The chrome side and the however you want to paint this black, aluminum, whatever. It, yeah, metal rods for that. 
the chrome tree it has two sets of wheels you can get the uh, basic 3.1 or like i showed you on the box the uh beautiful uh, wire wheels those are a nice addition i like that now here's the really important parts i want to go over with this stuff As you can see, the grill and the front bumper are separate now. I like that idea. They gave them provisions to mount it on the right, and you know they added the uh, the pan between the grill and the bumper so you can paint the body color, so you don't have to do like the old kit style kits where there was no pan there. And another thing I also did is they added the ability to put turn signal lights in the front bumper right there. You can see it. <clears throat> nice little mirror, the wheels. To get a good view of those wheels in there. Shiny chrome, it's a beautiful chrome. Center console, 64. Yep, that's beautiful. Decal set, I thought was actually pretty amazing. They added extra pieces in here. So if you don't use them on your Malibu, you know, those guys like us that. El Caminos or wagons that have the same need. Um, they did a good job. They give you extra decals for all the badges, front and rear. Even, they even added interior window crank handles. Yeah, I was surprised. Two radios, two gauges, lots of side emblems. Pretty neat decal tree. You get a couple of kits, you can do them a little bit more than that. Um, Lo and behold, yes, this one came with a second steering wheel. Fun. Uh, last but not least, the instruction sheet is pretty simple. Read this before you. Okay, who reads? I don't know. Um, interior shows you the glass. Placement of everything as far as the body and chassis goes, the firewall, the plate. Who's going to use that? I don't know. Don't know. Um, Assembly is pretty straightforward. It does go together really, really well. Um, I'll admit that. Um, shows you on the on the tail lights. Show separate tail lights like normal. Separate headlight lenses on the grill too. And then it shows you the option of the uh, wheels with the uh, center spoke. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy this. I have more coming. I've just been a little bit busy on things. Um, hit the like button subscribe show your friends any questions just put it in line well i'll get to it thank you